So my camera is finally here. I got a Canon M50 here. I bought it used off of the Canon website. I originally was gonna buy it brand new from QVC for um I was gonna buy it off QVC for what seven ninety five and then eight oh four, but then they kept playing games and denying my card. I've been trying to get this camera since the end of August and it has not been my friend. And then I tried to get it from like, um, I was waiting on it to come on fat through FedEx from the Canon website and I was having an issue with FedEx and it kept like missing me. And then I tried to go and pick it up and, um, they lost, they didn't say they lost it. I'm not going to say they lost it, but what they said was it was scanned in the facility, but they don't know where in a facility it was. So technically to me, they lost it. I got the worst customer service from a lady the day before yesterday. And I'm going to call back and complain, but I also bought some little things to go on the camera to help my picture and my audio. I'm so excited, y'all. So look, this is some of the stuff that I got. So I got a case to go around it i also got a lens hood all this stuff i got off amazon amazon is my friend and then i got a mic and this mic also has the little fluffy thing that goes on top to stop the wind from blowing directly into the mic so i got that as well and then in here i got two more batteries i'm trying to open everything up with one hand but in here i got two more batteries and another charger to go with the camera in the canon uh box it already came with a it already came with a charger and a, a battery it also came with a um what am i thinking i'm sorry i'm like distracted i'm doing so much but it also came with a neck a lanyard to carry it with i'm trying to like open everything at once as you can see i just got home from a trip so sorry if I look ridiculous. It's like 10 o'clock at night. It's not that late, but it's late. It's late enough to not want to be doing anything. But because I was waiting so long for this freaking camera, I want to like break everything up out and get it like set up. Um, like I said, I've been trying to order it since the beginning of August and it's October. So, you know, and then I also got this little mono well, I don't think it's called a monopod because it is, it has little legs, but I got this tripod that I can take on a roll with me. This is as big as it is here. Excuse my bed, I got a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. Oh, came with some other little things. But this is it right here. And I think it's so cool because it's not very long. I know it'll fit in my suitcase, but also it doesn't open up wide if I can get it out. Just the bottom opens up down here, and then this goes all the way up to 62 inches. I can't remember. I want to say it's five feet, five or something. It's taller than me, though, so I think that that's really cool. Um, I'm going to set it up and actually set my mic up and all that stuff, get it connected, and see if the sound is better. And I'm sure the picture is going to be better, but we're going to set that up as well. And I'm going to switch over to that camera. I'll see you all in a second. Okay, my lovely people. Ooh. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in my bed. Does this sound better? Does it look better? Is the mic on? I hope so. But for a fact, I know that this looks better. It's so much clearer. Uh, I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if you can hear me better in the mic. I honestly don't even know if the mic is plugged up. I really hope it is. There was no on or off button for it. Um, and I didn't even show you guys the mic. So I got it from a company called Moki. This is it right here. And this is what the mic looks like. And um, it comes with this little rat tail thing that goes over top of it when you're outside so it can stop the wind. It also comes with two cords to plug the mic in. So that you, that way you always have like a backup, I guess. And it also comes with this thing. It just goes over regular microphones. Um, I really hope it's clearer. Also, this is do not talk about my room. I'm going to tell you right now. It's kind of messy. I know. I'm sorry. But this here is the tripod here. That's my wig tripod. But this is it here. You see like how much smaller it is. Look how tall it gets. 
like literally so whenever i'm taking pictures i know for a fact that they're gonna be good because the pictures are gonna be up here it's taller than me so yeah and then it also goes down so small where i think that i could kind of use it as what am i thinking i can't give the word i can kind of use it as uh what am i thinking the thing you put it on like here and you just hold it just like this and you walk around like that i can't think of the word though for it but it goes down super little to less than or a little bit more than a foot um i'm trying to bend it back up so i can show you guys so what i would do is probably like put the camera on the top part and just hold it like this that way the tripod's always with me and um I won't ever forget anywhere and then i have something to hold it with i can't think about what i'm trying to say or what i'm trying to call it but yeah look it's late as heck i'm going to go to sleep the vlog's coming soon i'm so excited let's just get into some of this other stuff too really quick so you know it don't feel pointless so once again this is the um canon m50 i had a nikon dslr before but it was just way too heavy Where's my Amazon at? But yeah, it was way too heavy and my Canon G7X, which is this bad baby here, was my actual travel, like, um, travel, what am I thinking? My, tra why? First of all, angles, terrible. Also, like, look i just worked three flights today came home and i like jumped on a camera so i'm sorry if my brain is like not where it should be just like my angles are not are not where it should be but um the canon g7x was my previous vlogging camera which is this bad baby here um however when i was in puerto rico i'm trying to close it up um i got water damage in it so like everything works screen works everything and maybe i'll take it to like a best buy or something it's just when i press the power thing it like shuts off i mean when i take a picture it does this like it looks like it's trying to take a picture it does this everything it just stops there nothing else happens and it sits like this and then i have to like just turn it off well after it sits like that it cut off i have to turn it on which restarts it and then turn it back off to make the lens go back down it's just a lot so i might take it to get fixed but uh, after that i'm like i just sold my dslr because i didn't use it and i cannot travel with it because it's way too heavy and like the lenses is too much so um i sold that bought this and then i saw on another youtube video that they said to go ahead and buy it used which is what i did it looks brand new it looks brand spanking new like there's no scratches or anything on it it came in the canon box which i don't have but it came in a canon box the canon the uh, body and the lens came separately um and in total i paid 568 and online brand new it was i want to say at the time of me buying it $649 and that's not including taxes in total for me purchasing it uh used it was $568 including taxes and including two-day shipping but because of FedEx my two-day shipping actually turned into almost a week and a half and I can't get that back from Canon because like they tried to deliver it but I was working I tried to go pick it up but they lost it somewhere in a factory for two days called the next day they said they're not going to deliver it they're going to hold it turns out they tried to deliver it yesterday and finally it came but my brother was home to pick it up so I finally got the camera and I'm so so happy about it I actually love this thing I'm not gonna lie um little specs on it it is one, about one pound when i read over it most of the body is it feels like a hard plastic it looks like a hard plastic and um the lens that i got was just a regular kit lens this is the 15 to 45 lens um so it zooms all the way in hello and it has the in body stabilization in the lens and i think that the the actual body is supposed to have two i don't know i think it's just the lens though so even though my arm is like shaking because now i've been holding it up for seven minutes it is still like chilling like the it's 
<sighs> the autofocus is supposed to be outrageous. So let's say I'm gonna try to focus it on something. But okay, though, yo. That's kind of dope. Anyways, yeah, in body stabilization on the lens. I'm definitely gonna buy more lenses. They even still have some used cameras on the Canon website. Um, I know they had another one that was actually the body, the 15 to 45 millimeter lens, and then the 70, no, the 55 to like 200 milliliter lens, millimeter lens on there and it was $700. So that's like the same price as a brand new body camera and a kit lens, but you get two lenses and a body that's like new. I think that that's a really, really, really great price. It definitely was worth it. However, I was not willing to spend $700 one more time. I figure I'm just gonna find a lens somewhere else used and then I'll just buy it that way. But um, yeah. I've been rambling for 10 minutes. I'm sorry, y'all. But thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so excited. So many videos to come. And I guess I will see you guys tomorrow because your girl is vlogging. Look, I got this whole like bike bar thing that's going on tomorrow. I will be vlogging that. I got so much coming up. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, bye.